วัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Be My Guest, the program which updates you all about businesses and valuable knowledge from talented executives. I'm Soro s h a d a m r o n g t u i s a As all live distribution channels are out there and everywhere, it's very easy and convenient for us to shop online for luxurious fine quality wares. S26 is one of the successful online stores in Thailand, which offers eye-catching personalized wares to suit all occasions. So now we're with Kun a j a r i Te Chat t a n t a the co-owner and the design director of S26. So d i k a So first of all, could you tell us on the background of your brand? Well, the S26 started from the love of the tearing, like classic elements, and basically, uh, I have the uh, my family, like, is in this uh, industry already because my mom has the tailor shop. For over 15 years, so I, after I got, after I came back from Paris from the the fashion marketing course, so I came back here, and I thought, what can I do to make to create more targets to create more customers from my family, and like to use like to combine my my passion mm -hmm. with this already like stable background that I have okay. because I I've been growing up like looking and watching what she's. Doing with the, this business mm -hmm. and the the team that we have, so I came back and I, it was like, what what should I do to make it more uh, suit more appealing to the younger generation? Because like it's like when we talk about suit, it's mm -hmm. like we we uh, we like straight to thinking that it's about oh it's for the old people, it's for businessmen, it's for like the. It's not for it's not for like 20 years old. Mm. It's not for 25 years old person. So, what do I do to make it look younger? So it is the start. It is like the start from that that okay. point. So, uh, how long have you been starting this business then? Uh, for about a little bit over three years. Okay. So it's still young. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what's the inspiration of June S26? S26. The uh, inspiration got. I have the impress, sorry, inspiration from like the two years I studied in Paris because like in Paris the Parisians style and the the style they got is like the je ne sais quoi, which like but literally means like I don't know what. Basically, it's uh -huh. like it's like they just like put in the something casual and understated, understated pieces mm -hmm. outfit, but then somehow they make it so cool and chic. Uh, so we. And they also like like something understatement. So it, it, they don't like loud color. They don't like loud, maybe not loud patterns. So they don't like to be so outstanding. But see. but they have like that sophistication and that coolness to it. Mm. So I would like to bring that because I like that. It's like it's the liking has developed that from 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 the two years I was okay, there. Okay, I see. So, so what's mm. the product concept then from your experiences that you know um, that you went to Paris before? Sophistication and simplicity. Mm -hmm. So I would like to bring back that to the classic element that the suit making the suit have. So, mm. but it's like with a twist because it's like maybe so maybe from the outside it's like maybe it could be like navy blue, but the lining inside could be a paisley pattern or could be floral uh -huh. pattern something like that. So I but see. it's like. So it's like it's more personal. It's mm. what you like, but it's not to. It's not gonna like swallow the person who wears it. I see. Yeah. So can you say that your product is customized product? Uh, it is customized pro product mainly. It's eighty percent customized. Mm. Yes. What about the other twenty percent? The other twenty, we the other twenty percent, we try to get into the ready to wear market. Mm. So we we have been studied started. That I've been studying that for like last since last year to try to create like something ready to wear. Like we have created like 
registered wear shirts and like uh, f uh, for female, mm. like suit, like casual stuff for female and men as well. Mm. Mm. Now we come into the question on the products. So what products are you offering to customers? The products we're offering is the, the tailor suits, uh, trousers, shirts and uh, accessories, mm. bow ties and neckties. I see. So what are the selling points of your you know, items? The selling points is, I think the, our selling point is uh, the, the fact that we uh, have the in-house team. So we can make sure like each product we do it with quality mm -hmm. because, we, can, because it, we don't outsource anything. So it's like we can check the each pieces, each piece like by ourselves. Mm. So can you uh, explain to us, uh, because I understand that there are so many different types of fabric here in order to tailor the suit, so mm -hmm. how many types are there normally? Normally, yeah. oh, let's, like if you're talking about making a suit, yeah. let, uh, I can make it, put it in, in the simple way, it's like cotton is for, is for a young and casual. Uh, because there are like for the cotton fabric, there are so many patterns and prints. It's like floral and it's like polka dot, mm -hmm. so you can play play with that. But like the main is like more like a f for the casual and cool and chic. For another is linen. Linen fabric is is for like casual but with with sophistication. So you can you might if you like go online and search for like fashion blocks. You will see, like maybe, like in the summer, the Europeans and Italian men tend to be wearing like linen suits mm -hmm. or linen jackets. I see. Mm. And then the wool, wool is like a stable for for a suit. If like it's a timeless fabric, classic, and if you, it's pretty much like you can. It's never gonna go out of the of the season I or see. trend. Mm. So uh, apart from these uh, fabric here, how do you use the your your fabric? I would say to create your collection. Oh, uh, we it depends on the season. So we like sort of like uh, see the trend how it goes each each season, and then we try to put in and seek for like the fabric that fit for that season, but still fit with our concept of sophistication. Uh -huh. So it's like if if because like for each season there. Are a there may be like five trends, so uh -huh. we might pick like two trends of I like see. our fit, so that fit with our sophistication and simplicity. Because we don't want to be like too, too, too loud. Because we want to make a product with quality, and that you can use it for several occasions, not just like one, and then everyone remembers. Uh -huh. And you know, like, and we we would like to, like, have the uh, the customer like, sh um, maybe like wear well, it like for the few years not just like that that mm -hmm. one season mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so could you tell us more on your collections uh, this collection is about like we play with a uh, black and white color and like we play with a black and white color and also like different patterns like polka dot and uh, ginham like like what we are showing right now okay. yeah yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what about um, do you have any collection for men in this season collection for men for this season it's basically it's about this as well. This is for men actually, and this is for women, right? So the the basic color will be black and white and like the the navy because mm -hmm. like this season is like the navy is in I and see. we play with the shades of the navy. Uh -huh. mm. Okay. So what's your responsibility then in S twenty six? Basically, start from like fabric hunting. I I I go to like the fabric market market in Bangkok, around Bangkok, and then like when I travel, like last uh, last April, I went to Taipei. So I asked my friend to bring to like the fabric market in Taipei. So I was trying to like find something special, and that I have I didn't see from Bang in Bangkok. Mm. So we so I bought a few from Taipei, mm. and like a few years ago, I went to India. So we like I found some like cool paisley fabrics for the for the lining of for the suit yeah mm -hmm. and apart from on um, the fabric hunting so yeah. uh, what yeah. is your other and also responsibility like, uh, design consulting mm. so like when a customer comes in so maybe they because i enjoy working as a team with a customer so if for example like you come in and you would like to like uh, get us have a, a suit make like so you might have some ideas like the color that you mm -hmm. want or maybe the pattern or the style I so see. I was just like 
uh, maybe you give me some ideas, I give you some suggestions, maybe okay. like this color, maybe not matching with your skin tone, so maybe mm. suggesting your, like, maybe how about this shade of the, the color, or maybe uh -huh. like use that color as like a de the details instead of like the whole, the whole jacket. Mm. Yeah. So it's kind of a, a complete service, I would say, that customers yeah. will get everything, you know, from you as a designer yeah. here. Uh, what about um, the question of target customers? So all in all, who are your target customers? The target customer, I would say I don't want to like put down the age or the, the, the gender. I would uh -huh. like to, it, like the customers basically are anyone who, who would like, who is seeking for the tailor customized suit that fit. Because sometimes you go to like a shopping mall, you you will be like trying something off the rack, mm -hmm. and you'll be like, oh, the length is not for me. Like this is too big, that is too short. So like they come to us, and then then basically they tell us what they want, and then we share our expertise and knowledge with mm -hmm. them, mm, and then we go from that. It's like a collaborative project. I see from the collaboration here. Oh, do you have any good, you know, or even feedbacks from your customers? Uh, well, I'm not going to say anything bad. So I'm going to say like most of them are positive. So because like we, we talk before we do things. So we agree on one, like one concept. So we follow through that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're moving to the pricing here. What's the price range of your our product here? It depends on, the, because it's customized, so like a uh, customer can choose the fabric I and see. the price range. So it starts from like about 5,000 baht, but that depends on the fabric that they want to use and mm. the details okay. they want to like put in. So starting are from four to 5,000 baht. Yeah. Okay. From your customer base right now, are there foreigners or are they Thai? Um, I would say about 70% Thai and then 30% foreigners because like the, there are a few customers who like worth of mouth, they, ca they they visit our shop and then they wrote a blog or re they wrote the reviews and then like other like foreigners come back or seen the that blog or his blog or their blogs and they come like come to our shop and then they just like a worth of mouth and then also with the with the Thai customers as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, can you tell us more on about, um, okay, you mentioned about feedback already. Uh, what about their reaction, you know, after they get your services? Well, they seem to be happy because like, it's, I think it's our passion to make them happy because I believe in quality and if, when, when, because they have to come, I suggest them, they have to come for the, the fitting first mm -hmm. because that will then they will know like, oh, okay, the shoulder is a bit big. So they will just like tell us to make it shorter, uh -huh. to make it like slimmer or like, you know, taper the trouser a bit. So it's, it's, when it's customized, you, you get the feedback from the like step one, from the fitting step mm -hmm. from the customer. So the end product is going to be what they want. Okay. So now it's time for a short break. We'll write back and we'll learn more on how S26 is building its business success. So please stay tuned and be my guest. Mm -hmm.